It's the dream of any entrepreneur. Start a business, then make a windfall when a tech giant steps in and buys it. Today, it's a dream come true for the founders of GroupMe, a group messaging service founded just last April at a TechCrunch hackathon. The terms of the deal are undisclosed, but All Things D is reporting that Skype bought GroupMe for $85 million. I sat down with the co-founders, Jared Hecht and Steve Martozzi, and asked them about their overnight success. We feel very, very good about things that are happening and the things that have happened over the course of the past year. Uh, it's been an amazing experience um, for GroupMe as a whole, for everybody who we've worked with, uh, and this is, a, this is a wonderful outcome for us because it really allows us to continue to execute our vision uh, and to even take GroupMe to the next level. And we've had so much fun doing it. That's the best part. I mean, Jared and I started this as, as friends who just wanted to communicate better going to a music festival, and it's just turned into so much more. And our, uh, our users love it. Our team loves it. Um, so we're really excited. So the price has been reported at $85 million. Can you confirm that? Can, can you say whether it's in the right ballpark? We, we can't say anything about the terms of the deal. But thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I had to try. Yes. Um, now, why did you decide to sell after or just a year? Was it because of increasing competition with companies like Google and Facebook? Uh, this was it was not a, a reactive decision at all. I mean, we've been talking to Skype uh, initially about commercial partnership opportunities back in March, and uh, I think it was the week that the Microsoft. Uh, acquisition announcement happened. We were actually supposed to go in and see Tony uh, on a Wednesday, but they got acquired on a Monday. Um, so this was an ongoing conversation, and it, it was really uh, great because our visions of communications and, and where our products, where we want to go with our products, were so in line um, that it was just a perfect fit. So how do you see Skype in, in integrating GroupMe's technology? So one of the really interesting things about this deal is GroupMe gets to remain in New York City. Uh, Skype is truly a global company. They have offices everywhere, um, but uh, a main headquarters is actually at Palo Alto. Um, but we get to stay in New York City with our whole team intact, um, working on GroupMe. Uh, so we get to keep the same product, keep moving forward with our product roadmap. The only difference between today and the past year is that today we woke up, we had a ton of traffic, and we now have access to Skype's close to 200 million monthly active users. And for us, that's a dream come true. Now, the big question is, is this going to turn out to be a good buy, a good deal for Skype? Why is Skype spending so much money on a company with relatively few users? <laughs> so... <laughs> when you worded it that way, okay. So we, we, we think that this is a really cool opportunity. Going back to what Steve was saying before, this really comes down to the way we think about social, the way we think about the social landscape evolving over the course of the next couple of years, and our vision in terms of what we actually want to do with the product. So for us, Steve and I have always set out with, with the ambition of changing the way the world communicates and helping people get together better. And we've approached that in a very unique way that I think is different than a lot of other competitors in this space. Um, so I think Skype really values that. And they look at that as an interesting opportunity to, number one, leverage their views on how social uh, and social networking should kind of unfold over the course, the course of the next couple of years. But secondarily, I think there's some really interesting monetization opportunities here in terms of yeah. the way we've always thought about generating revenue through helping groups of people make decisions better. And, and on top of that, for sure, there's, there, there's more to it. Skype wants to be the communication tool that a billion people use every day. Uh, and there's a lot of components to the way our groups form and the way people use our groups to help them achieve that goal. Yep, I, I think Skype has it really nailed down when it comes to video and VoIP, and they have a great instant messaging product as well. But I think a lot of what they see in us is a great instant, instant messaging product that complements their product suite, but also really great access to text messaging, SMS, and groups, this whole new group dynamic that's been played out in social. Now, Jared, you mentioned monetization. It's no secret that Skype has had trouble generating revenue. How do you see GroupMe helping them do that? So I think this Skype generates a lot of revenue, actually. Um, but the ways that we've been thinking about monetizing, well, number one, we have these really, really great feature groups um, with partnerships with national brands um, like MTV or Oxygen and music festivals like Lollapalooza and Coachella. Um, so I think we see us extending that brand offering to the entire Skype global platform. And on top of that, uh, where Steve and I, where our heads have always been, has always been around helping groups of people make decisions better 
in real time, in real life. So showing you really cool things that you can go do in the real world with a group of friends. And when we think about what well, we have access to our network right now, now we have access to a network of hundreds and hundreds of millions of people. There's some really great monetization opportunities that will play out over the course of the next couple of years. There, there's so much more to come, and uh, there's things that we've demoed very early on. There's things that we've played with, but there's there's a lot uh, of really cool revenue opportunities. All right, well, we look forward to seeing that. Now, Om Malik of the blog GigaOm wrote a post called Why Skype Bot Group Me and Why It Isn't Enough, essentially to improve a confusing Skype user experience. What do you think about that? So, so from our conversations with Tony um, and the core Skype team, Skype is very on track and very focused, and they have an incredible roadmap ahead of them and are approaching everything in what Stephen I think is the absolute right way. Um, so I respectfully disagree with that post. Yeah, there's been a lot of great changes. Like, you know, we talked about our alignment from a vision perspective externally with the product, but even internally, the changes that have come uh, with uh, under Tony uh, have really led to an alignment as well in agile product development. So um, we, we think that that's, that's not true. <laughs> what, are your, what are your plans now? Are you, are you sticking with Skype? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's business as usual, except now it's business with GroupMe and Skype. Yeah, so this is a huge opportunity for us. We're really excited to, and we've even began a whole bunch of talks, like working with their team is, is a blast. So we're really excited about it.